It seems like everybody loves a good treasure hunt. After all, why wouldn't you? Adventure, intrigue, looking for something unexpected, something worth a whole lot. It seems like even Jesus, our Lord, cares about a treasure hunt because he tells his disciples this parable from Matthew chapter 13, verse 44. And he says, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, which a man found and covered up. Then, in his joy, he goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Now, I know, I know, you're thinking, hey, I need to go find that treasure of the kingdom of God and the kingdom of heaven, and then I can do all of these good and important things. But this parable, the main actor in this parable, it's not all about you. Not at all, in fact. In fact, the kingdom of God is the treasure hidden in the field. And this story of the kingdom of God has the man who finds the treasure being God himself. So what has God done? Having made you his treasured possession, his holy and righteous person, he covers you up, not just with dirt in a field, but with the holy, precious water of your baptism. And there, having covered you, he goes and he buys that field, not selling just everything that he has, but taking on the form of a servant, becoming obedient unto death, even death on a cross. And there on that cross, he paid your price, not with silver or gold, but with his holy, precious blood. And with his holy, precious blood, he bought you, uncovered you as his own beloved child, and says, here, here today, dear Christian, I have brought the kingdom of heaven for you. I have called you my own. I have washed you and made you clean. I have given my very life for you. But then I rose again from death so that you and I live forever. And here, dear Christian, is the kingdom of God for you in me. And so as you think about this treasure hunt of Jesus, it's not that he went out hiding from you, that you had to go play seek and find to find him or dig him up or anything like that. But instead, he is the one who suffered and died, giving his life for yours. And so you are beloved in his kingdom. That is the good news of great joy in this parable. And that's for you. Thanks be to God. Thanks for watching us talk at you. If you want to see us talk at you some more, subscribe to see notifications when we talk at you the next time. Donate to support Higher Things at higherthings.org slash giving. Help us to help you. And if you like this video, check out our website at higherthings.org and check out more content from Higher Things.